We all knew this would happen. Just like when you go to a sketchy neighborhood at 4 a.m., you get falafels from a guy called Abdullah, and you know you're about to get food poison, and you but you do it anyways. Just like when you're about to beat the shit out of your kukumba, you know afterwards you're gonna regret it, you're gonna be sad, you're gonna get depression. You go in knowing what would happen. Just like when you have work at 8 a.m., instead you stay up, play video games with the boys until 3 a.m., and you know you're about to die later. Just like you know you're about to die, uh, you're going to be alone for the rest of your life, you're going to die alone. But that, that's kind of like manageable. You can always go the Middle Eastern way, and you can always marry your cousin. Just like I knew that I leave my food on the table while I have to go to the bathroom, this haiwan is going to rip it apart even though it was only for 30 seconds. Just like I know in a month she's going to be throwing it back at absolutely no one when she's in heat. Just like you knew if you didn't clean your room once your mom told you to and she comes and she finds out, you are going to be eating her slippers. Just like she knew if she goes and she sleeps in a car engine and once the car gets turned on, she's going to lose her tail. Actually, wait, never mind. There is nothing inside this head. She definitely did not you. Okay, okay, chill. I can go on for days. Just like I know. Okay, maybe this is getting too much. L let's just get with the video. YouTuber Vitaly sued by a man in Catching Predators video for physical and mental abuse. This is the paper that was released to the public of all the things he's being sued of. 17 counts. But we're going to come back to it later on in the video. Now, Vitaly is very popular on this channel with the situation that he has put himself into, good or bad. He's been doing God's work in a very sketchy way. Now, to give you a little bit of context on what Vitaly has been doing in the past couple of months, a few months ago, he decided to start a series called Catching Predators. You're such a fucking pedo. Where Vitaly would go on his Discord channel, he would go on the general chat, tag everyone and be like, who wants to be my next video? Pretend to be gay, talk to elderly men, meet up with them, tell them how much you like them, put them in a trap, dig them a hole, and once they attempt to kiss you, that is when we are going to swip in like Batman and Superman, and we're going to catch them in 4K. Do you want to wrestle again in round two? No. <laughs> no. You would probably beat me because you're stronger than me. No. So, duct tape. Yeah. Oh, you want me to take it off? Okay. Okay. This is my favorite underwear. Yeah. I wore it just for you. He's been doing that for four months now. It's a whole Netflix series. This is a post he posted with over 1 billion impressions later. We successfully finished a season 1 Predator takedowns. 11 days, 33 pedals were caught, exposed, and some of them arrested. And the rest will be prosecuted. And most of the interactions he has had with these um, elderly men who like to tickle kids. It was pretty brutal. He was like putting gloves on. He was boxing them. He was shaving their head, shaving their pubes, shaving their asshole. He was, he's been doing a lot just to embarrass them and 100% they deserve this. But one thing that we talked about this before is even though it's very entertaining to watch, but the way he does his thing puts him in a very risky situation. We're okay with it. We're entertained. We are sitting back laughing at these losers and thanking Vitaly for the justice he's bringing to the city of Los Angeles. And I believe he knew that as well with the way he's handling things. If not, his friends definitely 100% told him about the consequences it can have. And I hope he is ready for this. Now, how did this whole thing, who is this person who is suing Vitaly? In May of 2024, Vitaly teamed up with the rapper Tyga, Dollar Sign, Aiden Ross, and others with the aim to catch sexual predators. Now, from the videos that I found online, I've been tuning in with his streams, like the 10-day streak that he was going on, and the day that he collabed with Tyga, Dollar Sign, and Aiden Ross, there's only been a couple of predators that they embarrassed. 15-year-old boy, fucking is, bro. That's what you are, bro. Turn around. Oh. Hands against the wall. Hands you ready? Fuck. Oh. No. Close your ears, guys. No. <laughs> There's also this guy as well. We talked about it last month where they caught this guy the same day. Another guy, civilian, came and just knocked the fuck out of him. There's also this guy. So it's a really tricky situation. We don't know who is this person. The Literally, I'm filming this within two hours of the news dropping that Vitaly got sued. His picture might come out, might not come out, but we do have a name. Daniel Prieto Jr. He's the person who is filing uh, this suit against Vitaly. 
Zedora, Zedora Risky. And the 17 counts are defamation, defamation, false light, invention of privacy, misappropriation of name or likeness, civil harassment, assault, battery, I don't know, strictly liability. I don't like lawsuit papers. They glitch failure to warn violation of bus intentional inflection of emotional distress i think this is from the video where they lick their finger finger the guy's ears bring a razor out and shave the guy's asshole i don't know negligent inflection of emotional distress basically this guy thought that he could meet up with cupcakes tickle them until he comes and there will be no consequences to it and when vitally the man the man who delivers justice in los angeles showed up he started shaving his asshole. He felt very emotional distress. He felt very humiliated. He felt very like his whole reputation was ruined since the whole thing, his whole videos had like what, 1 billion impression. So the main two reasons for this whole lawsuit is defamation and emotional distress. I really want to know how, which guy was it? I want to know how he looks like. Was it the one we saw on the stream? I'm very fucking curious, but I don't think his picture is going to come out. I hope it does. Now, like I said, it's very early. Vitaly still hasn't responded to the whole lawsuit. We're still waiting for more information to come out. His last post was in June 4th. He's probably chilling, taking a break. I hope he's not falling into his old habits. I hope he's preparing the next, uh, like, season two of this whole uh, series. And if you go back and you look at how Vitaly has been treating these um, uh, child ticklers... It's, it's pretty fucked. So this is like a tricky situation. I hope he can win this. But there's a very high chance that he's going to get sued. He's going to lose a lot of money. And the child tickler is going to win. But I hope Vitaly contacts that TikTok lawyer, Jayoma, Jayomi. I don't know what his name was. He will get you out of any situation. Even if you get into a lawsuit and you know you're in the wrong, don't panic. He got you. Who's the best lawyer? Jay Omar. And why am I the best lawyer? Because you got my case dismissed. And uh, what were you charged with? Man, I was charged with assault family member. And uh, how much jail time are you looking at? One year. And uh, what were you accused of doing? Man, um, <laughs> for buying a girl, punching her, uh, threatening to kill her, and putting a gun on her. All right, and uh, are you happy with the results? Hell yeah, yeah. That is if the other guy hasn't hired him already. Literally, you can get away with anything if you hire him. You want to eat some hot, spicy Indian food, get a hairspray, kick down an orphanage house, look them all in the eye, give them a little bit of... Set them all on fire, burn the shit out of all of them. And once you get caught and you're about to go to jail for like 60 years, just call him and he will get you out of it. But even though Vitaly wins this whole lawsuit, it's still going to cost him a lot of money. It's going to cost him a lot of time, which is something no hero deserves. That's all we know for now. I'll definitely keep you updated if anything spicy comes up or shit gets serious in this lawsuit let me know your thoughts in the comments below and like always if you do not click on one of these videos you're gay straightness disappearing in three seconds three two also if you don't like the video you're gay as well so like three two